So in this video, we're just going to take a look at how we can get started with live loops on GarageBand. Now, there is lots that you can do in GarageBand. We're just going to take a look at how we get started with some of the simple functionality and just really navigate ourselves around the app. So we're going to go ahead and open up the GarageBand app on our device. And you'll first see this uh, document place, very similar to how Keynote and Numbers and Pages all hold all of your documents all together. And we're just going to start a new project by tapping on the plus in the top right. And here you can see we can choose between live loops or tracks. So we're going to take a look at live loops. Now what you'll see in live loops are different types of music sound that you can choose from. There's also additional sounds that you can get if you go to the sound library and you can download lots of different things. I'll just say here, the toy pack is really, really useful, um, certainly if you're doing things in the classroom with your young learners. So let's just take a look at the EDM one just to, so we can see what the screen looks like when we're using it. You'll notice when it first opens, we have all of these grids of different uh, sounds that you can use to create some music. And simply by tapping on any one of them, it will play that sound. And you can build up that sound then by tapping on multiple different grids to create the sound you like, meaning that all of the options are endless in whatever you want to create. Obviously, in order to record things, we tap on the record button here. And once it's recorded, we can then start to have a look at those tracks and play around with them in more detail. And we'll take a look at the effects um, and settings in a second. Now, next thing just to add in are the arrows along the bottom mean that will play the entire column. All at once. And again, tap stop to stop that recording. So let's just have a look at what would happen if we record something. So I'm just going to tap on record, choose a few just to get some recording going. You'll notice that that starts recording off the top. When I tap stop, I can then tap on this here. It looks like the, the lines, you know, like a sandwich maybe. If I tap on that, it takes me through to that recording. So you can see the names of those um, elements that I've chosen, and I can play around with these. I can tap on them. I can choose to um, split them. I can loop them, cut them out, you know, all those sorts of things. If I then tap on the grids again and go back in, when I'm playing this, I can also choose the effects. And what this does is gives you these panels along the bottom. So now when I play that music, if I turn these on, you have these like DJ things that you can play around with. And again, this is only an introduction. I'm going to point you towards Owen Hughes's uh, fantastic YouTube channel, which will go into more detail. This is really just to show you, you know, the buttons and, and where you can find those elements. Last thing to notice is if I want to add in any more loops to any of this, I can tap on the loop icon here, and that gives me access to all of these other files that I can choose from. And there are loads in here in Apple Loops that I can search through and play with. And simply when I've chosen one that I like, I tap it, drag it over and drop it in a space. And there we go. That's your basic introduction to how to use GarageBand and Live Loops.